Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again. Happy Thanksgiving, almost, next week. Today is uh, Sunday, November 20th, 2011. I'll be doing the first video in an eight-part video series today. We will be learning how to make a key fob. It's a real beginner level project using only one, maybe two knots and uh, a minimum of tools so it's super easy and then the next week we'll build off of that the project that I make today I will give away next week at a random drawing from the um, subscribers to my channel so all you have to do to enter is subscribe 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 punch that button up there click the like button down below if you see something you like leave a comment suggestions whatever I'm um, happy to finally be back home again. Woo! So uh, we'll uh, get right to the project. And just remember, if you're already subscribed, you're already entered. If you'd like to participate and maybe win some free paracord stuff, woo! Subscribe. Okay. Okay, everybody. Hey, not nuts here again. We're ready to get started, and uh, we'll be tying a couple of key fobs and the ute knots we'll be using will be the wall knot and the optional crown knot uh, I'm going to be using some ACU in red and then some black and um, black widow colors to make some projects with hopefully you guys can see that color pretty good I'm going to be doing two of these I'm going to be doing one in a square key fob and one in a round key fob I'm going to be doing the, the first one zoomed out so you can see a bigger picture of what I'm doing and then when I do the next one we'll zoom in so you guys can see some detail so just keep watching if you don't get it right away and uh, hopefully one of the two different views will help you figure it out uh, some optional stuff if you want something to tie the knot onto or uh, something to add later uh, I'm going to be putting this LED key light on there and uh, something to cut your paracord with good pair of scissors or a knife and a lighter and uh, some thread snips and a piece of thread and a needle okay so um, I think I'll do this black and red first and you don't need much paracord maybe about a couple feet of each or longer if you want a longer key fob but this will actually make a pretty decent usable key fob and what you want to do to get started is to just to find the middle of your cords and do that by making a big loop taking the ends and making them even and finding the middle kind of pinch it there do the same thing with the other one so put the middles together of each project one over the other it doesn't matter which one and uh, then you take and the one there's a one that's on the bottom and one that's on the top so take the one that's on the bottom in this case it's the black one that's on the bottom and fold it over back and forth over that uh, center cord and then take the center cord and fold it over and then under and you want to make sure the end that goes under goes under the looped end so this is the open end here so go over the open end and then under the next end and then take a hold of all four pieces and then pull tightly and then once you kind of get it tighten them up individually one at a time one of the big tricks to uh, doing these projects right is to get even tension throughout so it doesn't matter if you tie this first one a real tight or real loose but just keep tying it that tension throughout the project so now what you got is you got yourself a square shaped knot there and you want to just fold these over straight in other words the black cords coming through here so just fold it over and then fold the other side over and then do over under just like we did before and this is a box knot over under and we're just going to keep doing this process over again bring a hold of all four cords and then pull them tight and 
and then this time, last time we started with black, this time we can start there with red, it doesn't matter which one you start with, you can do either color. Over and over, and then over and through, and then over and through. Okay guys, so you just keep repeating that pattern over and over until you get to the point where it, the project is either as long as you want it or until you uh, about have about this much cord left over. So there's several ways you can finish this knot and this is as far as you can go without some uh, tools. So if you don't have anything to cut this cord with or melt the ends with, you're done. Congratulations. Um, I always finish my knots, well, not always, but probably 90% of the time with the technique that I haven't seen on here before, which is I like to sew the ends down with a needle and thread and then singe the ends, and I find that that makes a far superior uh, way to finish the project off. There's virtually no way this knot will come undone uh, once you've sewn it down. and. Um, then singe the ends. I've seen a lot of projects of mine that I've built in the past where I've just singed the ends and they, they'll come undone eventually uh, especially through constant use so if you uh, just put two or three stitches through each end that you're going to cut off before you cut it off and then cut the ends off it makes a a knot that's going to be one that will probably nearly never give you any troubles coming undone. Oh. So, so those suckers down. This way to finish it is probably my least way to favorite way it's not very decorative and it's just kind of um, a simple quick way to finish it but uh, it works good enough for purposes of being a key fob or a zipper pull it doesn't have to be really fancy Okay, so to finish it off, I, oh, and let me talk a little bit about the thread that I'm using too. I, I like to use uh, a non-natural fiber, so I prefer nylon or polyester thread. And if you can find thread that's been waxed, uh, that's a, a, a even better thread. But uh, sometimes you can get thicker thread from like an upholstery place or something like that. Anything heavy-duty stuff like that is is uh, usually better. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to work with and uh, it, but it'll work. And then I'm going to snip the end of that thread off and then this is one reason why I like the artificial uh, because now I can just take this lighter and instead of having to tie a knot in this to finish it I can just take my lighter and singe the ends of the cord there and kind of press it down with my thumb and now all I have to do is cut these ends off. I like to do them one at a time. So just cut that end off. And then take your lighter here. And melt it and melt it and melt it. I like to melt it for this particular uh, type of uh, singeing. I'm going to melt it until the cord actually is starting on fire. A little bit. Let it burn. And then let it... Uh, let it just kind of dry into a nice little plastic glob right there. 
It only takes a few seconds for it to <coughs> cool off. Do the same thing on each side. When you're melting this, try to only heat up the cord that you're melting. It's if you uh, heat up any other side cords, they'll kind of get a, a melted scorch mark on them that looks kind of weird. So then just maybe blow on that a little bit if you want it to cool off a little quicker. Do the next side. Be sure and do not touch this pla this uh, ends of this paracord while these are are hot and while they're melting because they will burn you. You want to be real careful with that. <coughs> okay, last one, and then you can really get a feel for how the project looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now you can take your your uh, little key fob lighter, light whatever you want, and tie it on the end if you want to do that, and attach it as a zipper pull or whatever. You can do that from this end here. There, this kind of forms a little loop at the bottom of it that you can use it to attach to things or attach things to it. So this little key fob guy here is done and we'll do another one right now um, that is uh, using this pretty much the same knot but is uh, going to be circular in shape 